Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is part two of my three-part series on storage. This episode is about blazing fast cloud storage. You're not going to believe this. This is sweet storage and it's pretty darn sweet. Just when you think you've heard it all and seen all cloud storage companies, you haven't. Uh, and that's why I'm talking to you about sweet storage. Because once I started digging in, I realized that there was a unique solution here that is really powerful and perfect for shared teams. Now, I'm gonna show it in Adobe applications in Premiere Pro and sharing video, but this is for anything where you need to share globally. It needs to be secure, secure encrypted, and have unbelievable redundancy and wicked fast speed. Just to let you know, when I started testing this out, my ISP gives me a gigabit down and 100 megabits up. And when I started using this, my up was 150. And <laughs> okay, that's pretty darn fast. So this is a solution that you install on your system. And the interesting thing is you can try this out for free. When you do that, they ask you a bunch of really important questions about what you expect to do, where you're located, and then they, they accommodate um, the right solution for what you need. So here it is running on my desktop. Of course, it runs Mac and Windows. I'm here on Windows and I'm logged into my account and you can see it says I'm connected. This is the status, it tells me that I have no errors, how much room I have, and look at this over here, built-in help. That's right, you don't have to go to a web page and log in, you're clicking in the app and you'll get a response from somebody almost immediately. Their support is incredible in the app. Now, on the left-hand side, there's also a time machine. And here with this time machine, we could mount any time, including seconds. So you wanna find something 30 seconds ago, you can mount that. I know, this is like nothing I've ever seen before. And by the way, if you're new to uh, really powerful cloud systems, this is not Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, all of those. Those are meant for syncing and sharing a recipe or something. This is for mission critical, hammering files with video editing 4K, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Here is another really powerful and important unique part of Suite, and that's the cache settings. You can see how much cache I'm using. Um, you can see I can add to the cache and change location. Wait a minute, you can change the cache location? Well, why would you do this? Well, imagine this, imagine you're working with several editors and they're all gonna be logging on to this media. Well, everybody has to cache a certain amount of this media as they're working on it. All cloud solutions do this, they cache it. But why would each individual user waste time caching if you're in the same building on the server, you're using suite in the cloud, but your cache is local and you can move the, the cache to a shared location. That means when I connect to this new project that I've never seen, there's already a cache built and I hit play and it's gonna play back like butter. Remember I said unique, this is a unique solution. Incredible. Team settings. So here you can add any member, you can set where, whether someone is uh, an owner, an admin, um, yes or no, and you can manage uh, what solutions they have. So when you click to add a member, you set the name and uh, email, you set their privileges and invite, and then you set up what they get access to. So Pat here, if I go to my drive, he has access to the elite folder, but none of these folders here. That way I can feel secure that only certain team members are going to get access to those folders or those folders, nested folders, whatever you wanna control, you get con to control what people have access to. And this is uh, 
in beta right now, but you can uh, use this for uploading and downloading. And you can see I did a, a, a test uh, upload here. And what this, if you click new download, it gives you a link name and a password and an expiration. This is when you wanna share someone that isn't already a member and has Suite installed. Again, this is another unique feature for Suite Cloud Storage. I need to send this to a producer and I don't want them to sign up for this and install everything. No, instead, they they here's the what they install. It's a simple download called Suite Connect. Um, and if you send them the link, this information is populated. The, the URL is automatically populated from the link you shared with them. All they need to do is enter the password. And as you could see here, I could set an expiration date on that uh, file. So you're sending either upload or download external links to people who don't have Suite installed. You quickly have to say to someone, maybe th there's a, a pickup shot, a camera operator, and they're not on this. Oh boy, now what do we do? Oh yeah, here's an upload link, send it to them, upload. Guess what? That file is now available to everyone who has uh, privileges to have access to it. Really incredible, and I love this. No errors here. Okay, so let's jump into Premiere Pro. And I'm accessing all of these files from that, that same um, cloud storage. Now, most of this is playing back from cache, which is what you want. These are really big 4K files, a lot of them, and um, a lot of, uh, of stuff playing back. And you can see my green indicator here, there's no drop frames as I'm playing this back. Now, of course, uh, Suite works perfect with, with uh, a proxy system, so I'm just trying to push it as far as I can. And you're not always gonna get no dropped frames, but playing back, scrubbing the media, this is pretty wicked fast. And like I said, all this media is sitting on that. Is sitting on that drive in each one of these folders. Now I want to talk a little bit more technical about um, some important things that once I read it, I thought, I'm gonna to need to tell you this because this isn't obvious. And the first one is something called transactional rights. As an example, let's say you're uploading a giant multi-gigabyte file to any cloud service. When you do that, there are thousands or tens of thousands or even more calls to that remote server. They're calling, did you get the file? Little piece, little piece, up, 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 up. And any one of those little operations if, if there's a mistake through the internet, your local disk, your OS, that one little mistake means that that file is corrupt, but it looks, it looks okay because it made it there. There was no physical check on the file from beginning to end. Sweet transactional rights are complete guaranteed transactional rights. They're the only company that does this. What that means is when I upload my file, when it completes, I know it's not corrupt because if something did occur partway through, it will not write the file, it will not affect any other user or any other media on the cloud, and it will give me a human readable error, thank you very much, about what went wrong usually an a internet problem, some kind of connection problem. So transactional rights, absolutely fantastic. Very, very useful. Now let's talk about versioning. Working in a collaborative environment, someone can overwrite a file, delete a file. And I mean, that's just what happens. And if, if your backup system has a snapshot, and, and a lot of cloud-based systems do have snapshots or intermittent backup systems, then they'll only back up in that time slot. So if they back up 
let's say every hour, then you, you make 20 versions in the hour, it's only gonna have the last one that is different from the last hour, or even if it's the last 10 minutes. Sometimes you need something that's even more accurate. Well, how about to the second? Yeah, when I read this, I blew my mind. So you can go back 30 seconds and recover a file, three weeks and cover a file. And this is, when I was reading their white paper, flipped me out. Every version of every file ever is saved. How is that even possible? Wow, remember I told you Sweet was uh, unique? This is yet another thing that's unique. Next, let's talk about redundancy and security. Many storage techniques offer no security protections and zero redundancy mechanisms. It's in the cloud, but if something goes wrong with that file, um, it's not uh, protected. But Suite works with 100% uh, uh, top tier object storage data centers. They're designed for long-term data storage. They have layers of protection to ensure your data is not accessible and they have 24 seven security monitoring. So not only is, is it redundant and protected, it's protected from prying eyes. All of it is encrypted. Uh, it's encrypted on the way up, on the way down, and while it's sitting on there. There's also three different uh, geographical backups that happen with this data, so nothing will go wrong with this data. It, you know, like I said, once I looked into this, I realized that this is a very, very powerful solution. It's not for the, your, your casual YouTube user. For that person, that's what you use Dropbox and you deal with all of those errors. But with mission critical people sharing big files, important files, secure files, that's what Suite is built for. And they can't wait to talk to you. So if you're an individual editor, a small group, or even a giant enterprise, I'm gonna give you all the links in the description. And please, I'm not telling you this because they paid me to tell you this. I just looked at the solution and thought, wow, you need to learn about this. This is incredible. So this is my gift to you. This could be the thing that really extends your team, uh, protects your data around the world. I have 100% confidence in what they do. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop donate once or monthly any amount we appreciate all of our donors till next time i'm colin smith and it's my job to keep my ears and eyes open about solutions that are coming out that are unique and they're almost defying uh, the laws of physics on how we work with systems so we can be secure and we can have reliable data anywhere in the world <laughs>